Let me begin by saying the perfect headphones do not ex- Hey, there they are. Welcome to Russell Rice Reviews. Tonight, we are reviewing the Grado RS2e. One of the best headphones you will find in the $500 price range. Now, when it comes to high-end audio, people instantly think of brands from Japan like Sony or Audio-Technica or brands from Europe like Sennheiser and Bayer Dynamic. And maybe this brand from the U.S. called Sure. Okay? But not many people have heard of the name Grado. Yes, it's pronounced Grado. I checked. Now, Grado is a headphone manufacturer based in Brooklyn where their headphones are um, manufactured by hand. And their headphones are known to have an energetic, aggressive sound. And they are known for putting sound above everything else. I mean, they don't advertise. And when, they, uh, when you buy a headphone from them, there, there are no accessories except for maybe the one fourth inch adapter. And uh, do you get a bag or a pouch? No, you don't. Uh, you just get, you know, the headphones. Okay? The packaging is very simple. Like a box of food from KFC looks better, looks sturdier. And that, that speaks volumes, you know, about, about that company. I mean, they don't spend, you know, on advertising. They don't spend on packaging. They just spend on the sound there. All right, so now let's talk about the, the headphones themselves. Okay, so build quality is nice. It looks and feels durable enough. They are extremely lightweight because of the because of the beautiful wooden ear cups made of mahogany. I mean, look at them. I mean, it just screams luxury product, doesn't it? The cables are not replaceable, but they are thick and they don't look like they will break. The metal headband is covered by this nice brown leather padding. And yeah, they are, they are perfect, aesthetically speaking. Okay, so that, that's why in the intro I said, you know, perfect headphones don't exist, but here it is. All right, <clears throat> it's an uh, open back headphone, meaning it offers no isolation. You will hear noise around you and your uh, music might be heard by people around you. So if you listen to Six Cycle Mind and you don't want people to find out, then don't get these, okay? Or, or any open back headphone for that matter. The impedance is just 32 ohms, so your smartphone should have no trouble driving them. Comfort-wise, now this is their weakness, in my opinion. I, I think it could use some improvement because I mean, look at the ear cups. It, it could get cramped in there. And I have huge ears, and the pressure of the cups was a little too much after a three hour listening session. But if you have smallish ears, this could work for you. Or if you don't listen to music for three hours straight, I mean, who does that? Now, <clears throat> let's talk about the sound. Okay, so the Grado house sound is bright, meaning the treble is emphasized. And it's not just that, okay? If, if, you, uh, if you like vocals, okay, you know, anything that you want, the, anything where the mids should be the focus on, okay, so these are, these are perfect, okay? It's just that they're not meant for pop or hip hop music. Okay, so if you mainly listen to those genres, then you have to look somewhere else. Okay? If you listen to mostly rock, I can't recommend these enough. The, the guitars are presented very well. If you like acoustic, uh, acoustic, you are going to love these. The vocals are very clear too. I, I listened to, to this song called To Whom It May Concern by The Civil Wars. And Joy Williams just sounded so good. I've never heard her like that, you know, except for, you know, from, from these headphones here. 
Of course, there are people who don't like the grado sound. Um, some people think the sound is too harsh. Okay. Actually, it's a, it's a love or hate sound signature. I, for one, am a fan of it. Okay. So I used to own an SR80, one of, the, one of their cheaper offerings. The sound profile is very similar to, to the RS2E with the RS2E sounding more refined, of course. Um, if you want to up your listening experience and you don't want to break the bank, get the SR80 for $100 in, 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 in pesos, that's around 5000 and the SR60, which is available for $80 dollars okay in in the philippines in pesos that's four thousand both are available at this store called egghead in robinson's galleria there are demo units there and the staff there is nice and helpful and they know what they're talking about okay so but you know if you want to go big man try this uh, on amazon you can you can get it for five hundred dollars and also available at, at Egghead for 25, there, around 25,000 pesos. All right, <clears throat> so let's summarize. Aesthetically, these are perfect. I mean, again, feast your eyes on that, on that. It, it can, you know, give off a, a hipstery vibe, sure. Right? But it's freaking elegant. Um, so aesthetically perfect. Comfort can be improved. If you listen to acoustic, metal, or rock, get these. If you like clarity and you're not a fan of overpowered bass, get these. The RS2Es, everyone. Cut.